Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we have a product review, which is the Madoker Canvas Vintage Style like Laptop Backpack. Now, first, before I even get into the good stuff, I'm going to go ahead and knock out the bad stuff right now. I actually will be returning this because, one, I found another backpack that will help me. Uh, I am a photographer, and I try to be as safe as possible when I'm going out doing gigs and stuff. So I did find another backpack that is bullet resistant that I will be getting. But the second thing is, it's kind of like a false advertisement. This backpack is advertised as like it will charge your device, but they don't tell you like the ins and outs of how that is possible. So I just consider that false advertising. That's the only reason why I bought it is because I thought it was a backpack that charges my phone while I'm out doing gigs or something, or if I'm just out doing something and I don't have an outlet nearby, that it would just charge it up. And I just thought that they somehow had the technology in here to just like, boom, make it happen. And three, one thing I didn't like, so you have these straps right here. Now they have buckles on them. And if you're trying to undo it and open it up, oh, boom, it just happened right there. So it'll pop off. And I don't like being that careful with my backpack. Um, that is, those are things that I just don't like. Those are all the things that I don't like right off the bat. Again, I will be returning this. But I'm still going to do the review for you guys because, I mean, this may be minor stuff that you don't care about. But the reason why the USB charger was a no-go for me specifically is because even though it may be USB capable of charging my device, they could have at least included like a battery block, I personally feel like, because not everybody just has a battery block on them, like an external battery. Like not, not everybody just have one of those. So could have at least included like a cheap one of those just so people like me wouldn't be that irritated because I mean, off the top of the head, most people are probably gonna look at it and be like, oh, it charges backpack, boom, let me get that. Because, you know, I may be out doing something, I may be leaving class, wherever I need to charge my phone. And boom, they get it, but they're disappointed because whenever they go and try to plug it up, it won't work. You open up the backpack and it's just a USB cord. With it being set up like that, I might as well just get an external battery block and just put it in my pocket and then use that to charge my phone. Because, I mean, I mean, that's what I would do because it's no point in just doing this. But, oh, and another negative. Now, if you are a person who stay in like the weather is not consistent, it could be raining one day and it'd be sunny the next day. This is not the backpack for you unless you're willing to buy a can of the stuff you can spray on it to make it waterproof. But uh, this is not a good backpack for rainy areas at all. All your stuff is going to get damaged and the looks of it is just going to look very very bad like this is just not the material that you would have in a rainy area so now we're going to get into the positive stuff it is a very good looking backpack this is my style of bags here like just the vintage the looks of it the color i just love it i mean it's, it's not a bad backpack. The main reason why I bought it is because I wanted that feature and I was just interested in it, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, it holds everything that I needed to hold. My laptop, my camera, it can easily hold, you know what I'm saying, a couple if not a few lenses in there. Uh, it can hold a lot of stuff in this bag, but it's just not for me. So uh, now if you're a person who, if you're a photographer, for one, you would need to seal all of this off with, you know, to make it waterproof. But after you do that, you can hold everything that you need for a shoot, you know what I'm saying, uh, except for maybe like a, a huge light. But you can easily slap like a tripod in here, your laptop, camera, some lenses, and you can shoot all day, basically. Batteries, all of that stuff. But, you know, I love the look. Again, uh, I just like vintage looking stuff. So here... Here it is, right here. I'll turn it around for you guys. For $29.99, if you just need a bag for the looks and the comfort, I mean, I would go ahead and get it uh, if you just want to scratch off the uh, USB charger thing. Uh, but it looks very, very nice. It, it looks like it would be way more expensive than $30. So, so that is saying something. But it is very good quality, very good material. Just not good for rainy weather or rainy environments or just human environments in general it's just not good for that but uh inside i'm just gonna unpop the the magnets or whatever but it's almost like a little satchel thing where you got the little drawstring right there so you can put everything in there and you can tighten it up at the end you know what i'm saying so that is a very very good feature to it and also on the inside i don't know if i can show you guys that but it has the laptop strap 
So you have a designated pouch for your laptop. I think it can hold up to laptops that are like 15 inches or something like that. So you can slap in your laptop and then you can just latch it back in. You'll be perfectly fine. Uh, other than that, there are no other internal compartments except for on the front. It's like a little something. You can put like maybe a small wallet or hold your phone. You can hold external battery compartment. You can hold spare batteries uh, for your camera or whatever device you may be using or whatever. Uh, a little small tablet. It's a lot. It's, you can, you know what I'm saying? You can use it for your advantage, but it's a very spacious backpack, multiple compartments. You got the little side compartment. All side compartments have this little elastic like band on it. So again, if you have like a lens, if you're a photographer and you have a lens, you can just slap that lens inside of there and it'll hold it tight so it won't be just like flopping around in your bag. But that is on both sides. And then on the front, it has a pretty decent size compartment that you can put, you know what I'm saying? You can put a little something, something in there, not just completely everything. But, uh, you know, you can make it useful. Now, if you do have an external battery charger and you want to hook it up to this, there is a cord that runs in through the side. And there's the end of the USB. And there's the other end of the USB, this little black thing. And there's actually a zipper down in there. I wish I could show you guys. But um, you can slap, like, the charger inside. You can slide it in there and zip it back up. And that'll be, like, that compartment for that specifically. So, I mean, it is very nifty. I just would rather carry it in my pocket than the backpack because, I mean, what if I just wanted to go super minimal? You know what I'm saying? I could just slap that in my pocket and then I won't have to carry this at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how I'm thinking about it. But, but again, if you're like a student, um, you just need a vintage style backpack and you want a, a cheaper one but still looks nice and doesn't look like it's $30, I mean, this is a very good one. Uh, I'd say be careful with it again because whenever you're trying to undo the straps, they will pop off. Uh, I guess it'll be kind of like a novelty. The straps are kind of novelty. You just can. So, I mean, you can still access it. I mean, I guess you, if you want to change the tightness of it, I guess. If you got something in there, you want to really close down on it. I mean, I can see you changing the straps, but you don't even have to use the straps. But, I mean, it's just not for me. So... I decided to do this video anyways just for you guys in case you were looking into it. These are my thoughts. I'll be returning this very soon. I mean, hey, you know. Sometimes you order stuff on Amazon. It looks cool. You get it. Uh, and then you just send it back. I mean, it's just like one of those type of purchases. But that's it for today's video. Now, if you do want to check this out, uh, I mean, I will be dropping the link down in the description below. So, I mean, you can look at it. They offer these in maybe like three or four more other colors. That may appeal to you more, like a black and I think like a gray and a coffee. I don't know. They got some weird colors. Uh, they all look nice, but I just like this one just because, I don't know, it's just my style. But again, I'll be dropping it down in the description below so you can check that out. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoy it, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out.